everybody, it's Tiberius, the Queer and Confused Crafter. And today, we're going to be having some fun with some napkins. All you're going to need is uh, some paper. Uh, this is about the size of the journal I'm working with, so I chose this gray paper here. And you'll just need uh, the number of sheets that you'll be working with. So I have five sheets of gray paper right here. Uh, you'll need some Mod Pod. And of course, a paintbrush, which mine's already been soaking in water because I tested this out beforehand, which is a rarity. All right, let's get into it. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your napkin. I got this at the Dollar Tree, by the way. How cute is that? Uh, is you're going to want to take your napkin and you're going to want to separate it. from the backing. Although this one's so thin, probably didn't need to. Ooh, it's tearing. Oh no. I don't want to have to get another napkin. That should still work just fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. So what we're gonna do is, oh wow, that's a really shitty napkin. Just wipe all the paintbrush. Don't get any water into the Mod Pod that is glued shut, apparently. And we're going to just generously apply it to the paper. Just kind of get it good and coated on there. Once you got it nice and coated, just take your Paper towel, I mean your tissue, napkin, <laughs> if I can say the right word, and gently layer it over top and smooth it out very gently, very softly because we don't want it to rip. This is a very flimsy one. I regret separating it. I think I probably shouldn't have in hindsight. And then we're going to just do a thin layer on the outside, just very lightly, because it is very delicate. So we're just going to spread it around really good. Just a light layer. Because as I'm sure you noticed, as you put the paper down, it had quite a bit coming through. So we don't need too much going forward. You want to pick this up? Now that we've got it covered, we're going to set it over here to dry. Dry on a flat surface. And then we're going to get our next one, which apparently still has some tabs that need to be cut off of it. 
it was a non-perforated sketchbook that these came out of, so they still have a couple little tabs on them. same thing again get it good and on there covered. Here we go again, going in with this napkin that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It's a little thicker than the other one, but it's still pretty flimsy, but it comes apart a lot easier. And I'm just gonna Lay it down as flat as I can. It's okay if it's not perfect. It'll give some texture to your journals if it's not perfect. But like I've always said, the pursuit of perfection is a fool's errand. And then we're just going to lightly mod pod over it. Just very lightly. Get it good and coated but where you can't where you just see shiny but you don't see you know white when we're doing it the first time when we're putting it on the gray paper you want to see white you want to see white streaks but when you're doing it to blend everything in you don't want to see white streaks you just want to see shiny 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 paper We're going to take that, let that dry as well, set that over there. And if you hadn't noticed, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> I got this at Pop Shelf. It was $2. It's a very, very nice napkin. I really like it. I think it's very pretty. Get you apart. Oh, here's a spot shelf makes a bit of a higher quality napkin. It's harder to get off. Ooh, I ripped it a little. Oh no. Oh no!
little on my fingers, trying to get that off. Now the gray is making it look a little darker, so if you don't want to have a darker look, don't use gray. I'm just using what I have available. Somehow I missed this corner right here. It's okay, we're going to fix that. And then we're going to just lightly, ooh, I put too much on that brush. Sorry about that y'all having camera issues again. I need to get an actual camera and stop using just my phone. All right, we're gonna also set this to the side and let it dry. There's no really a side to set it to. My desk is very crowded. And you guys remember these from a previous video. These next two that I'm about to use. These came from a boutique and they are triple ply. And they're very good napkins and they were expensive. <laughs> done my trash and again we're not doing anything different we're just putting on stuff Just getting it good and on there. Oop, I didn't mean to put it back in the thing. Gosh damn it. I'll put you in there for now. I'll move you. Gonna move you more over here. The song Viva Las Vegas has been in my head just all day today. Not really an Elvis fan, so I have no idea why. Hey, 
and I ripped this napkin. It just did not take. You know what, maybe it'll create some cool looks for journaling. Who knows? Who knows? Oh well. That's why you are supposed to put it on lightly. I glopped it up too much when putting on. So don't do that. Don't glop it up too much. Set that over there. Bless you. It's my dog. My dog is sneezing. And you know what? I'm just gonna kind of take it out of the water, see how that does, and do it kind of heavy but not super heavy at the same time just play around with it a bit see what that does see where that gets me if it gets me nowhere it's okay it's it's only a two dollar napkin which you know it's part of a pack of napkins so really that napkin's only like probably i don't know five cents Is this napkin even going to unfold for me? That's pretty. Ugh, stuff is everywhere. It gives like a nice little writing space if someone wanted to write right there. We got that one nice and figured out. Now we're just gonna lift it up and make it trade places with the other one. The other one's nice and dry now. And we're gonna cut the other one out.
And there you have it. Just an easy uh, way to make a background page for your journal. And you can just put stuff over this. It kind of looks a little bit leathery, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. You could use this on the outside of your journal. Uh, the, the possibilities really are endless of what you could use this for. I personally just like to use them as background pieces so I can lazily fill a page. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, please like and subscribe if you like chaotic tutorials. Um, stay chaotic.